जाएंगे Welcome to Rage. I'm Eva. She's Kylie. Yes. And now we've noticed how Singapore is gearing up to be somewhat of a sports hub. Mm-hmm. And this year we have hosted the first ever night race, the F1 night race. And next year we'll be hosting the first ever Youth Olympic Games. Yep. In fact, in a recent article published in the Straits Times, it stated that the sports industry has crossed the billion-dollar mark for the first time. And in turn, there will be in an, an increase in positive spin-offs for the economy. That's right. I heard that the F1 pumped in like a hundred million dollars into the economy. Not into our pockets. Though. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> that's very good news. And so in today's episode, we get fast and furious in the sports scene. Right. The Carrarista Jamboree, which started on Saturday and will be ending this Wednesday with a countdown party for all those who love motorsports. That's right. And the first ever quarter mile drag race was hosted in Singapore during the event. So. It was definitely a milestone in motorsports industry, mm-hmm. for sure. So let's have a look. Hello, everyone. It's Sunday afternoon, and I'm here at the Singapore Changi Exhibition Centre for the Carrarista Jamboree 2008. And today, now the Carrarista Jamboree. We'll feature a drifting competition, a quarter-mile drag race, go karting, car styling, and an exhibition. So my mission today is to find out as much about motorsports as I can, and to talk to some of the drivers. So let's go. First, I checked out the exhibition center, where some of the top garage workshops in Singapore showcase their most prized machines. On display, there are also imported cars from Japan, driven by top Japanese racers. And where there's hot cars on display, there's also a bunch of sexy models like these girls. Hey girls, hey boys, superstar DJs, here we go! So, Mr. Wan Kok Kyung was one of the first racers in Singapore, right, Asa? That's right. Okay, so tell us about why he set up this garage and what's this company about. Well, basically, Enthusiast itself, right, is about this enthusiasm about motorsports and how we can promote it to do it legally and safely in the racetrack, so properly, of course. And Mr. Wan, unfortunately, he's been racing since the 80s. He got a lot of experience into engine setup, into suspension setup, and he's a very good teacher and mentor to all of us here as well. Well, show us some of your cars. Well, which one would you like to talk about? Two thousand here. Okay. okay, which one of features car here? Uh, it's basically an AP2 model, which is a 2.2 engine. What the owner has done basically is just blueprint up the engine itself, soak it up, okay, to make sure it's a balanced engine for higher rep, longer endurance races, and so on. Uh, in general, the surface is a very lightweight and very fast car. Here's the fun part. I head outside and get as close as humanly possible to the fast cars and the drivers. Okay, so this is where the action is today here at the Changi Exhibition Center. If you're not here, you're missing out on the fast and the furious cars here. But as, at least you have your front seat. Now behind me, see that car? Okay, now those are our local drifters, and one of them is Ivan Lim, which is car. The top Singaporean drifter. Okay, I have Jensen over here, who is a second top drift driver in Singapore. Isn't that right? Uh, the most passionate. The most passionate <laughs> drift driver. Okay, tell us what it takes to be a drift driver. Uh, basically, you need a car, a rear-wheel drive car, and lots of passion for the sport. Yeah. And you can be a drifter, no problem. I see your beautiful baby in the back here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Tell us about this car of yours. It's your car, right? Yeah. It's my car. It's done by Garage R. Okay. It's my sponsor, and of course, Stanford Tire is also my sponsor. Okay. Does that mean yeah. you can drive this car back home? Uh, <laughs> technically, you can, but I won't. 
if you want, yeah. right? You'll leave it in the garage? Yeah, yeah, I'll leave it in the garage. Now, has it always been your dream to be a race car driver, a drifter? Uh, a drifter, yes, and a race car driver as well. Okay. Yeah, both, both disciplines, are, I'm, I'm very into it. Okay, how about race car driving? Explain that to me. Are you going to go into that? Are you already doing it, or how does it work? Um, besides drifting, I also do circuit racing. Okay. Um, this year, I completed the Merdeka Millennium Endurance. Yeah, and next year I'll most likely be taking part in some circuit races as well. Most likely in the Asian region. Yeah. Okay, well, Tanaguchi came down um, yesterday and I heard that you guys got to meet him. Yeah, we got to meet him and we had a ride in his car. Wow, okay. So it was great. What did you learn from Tanaguchi? Did you ask him any like, questions? And... Yeah, I asked him a few technical questions. Basically, um, how to pick up certain lines. Uh, basically, the... Some certain tips that people normally miss out. Yeah, I asked him in the directly and he explained very clearly. So yeah, that was good. And what do you wish to see happen in the local driving scene? Uh, what I wish to see is for um, more sponsors to come in such that we can pay for grounds like this so that we can conduct clinics and, and, and advanced driving courses. Alright, what is the best part of your job? My job? Having fun. between circuit racing and drifting? Um, drifting is a lot of showmanship. It's about flair, how you can show off. Circuit racing is a lot, a lot about discipline and hitting the right racing line every time, lap after lap, for 70, 80 laps, for example. Yeah, it's a lot of discipline. So which one would you say, in your opinion, is more challenging? For me, it's definitely circuit racing because I don't really have discipline. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That's something that I'm working on. So Nick, you're the race director today. Um, how did you start off your career? Um, I actually started back in the late 80s. Um, it started with motorbikes, motocross, um, circuit racing. Um, somewhere in the mid-90s, went into go-karting. And then um, just this year itself, I completed the Mandeka race in KL, the 12-hour endurance race. That's right. So you still race? Yes, I, I'm trying to race. I'm still trying to race very much, yeah. yeah. So you've pretty much been in the Singapore motor scene from its humble beginnings to now. What are some trends that you notice? Well, um, I've been working with the Singapore Motorsports Association for a while, supporting them in races as, a, as an official. Um, if you're looking back at the early 90s to about now, things have actually evolved quite a bit. Um, we've got timing systems improve. Um, the safety, of course, definitely has improved drastically. Um, and if you're looking at where we are right now, this is the very first quarter mile that we ever had in Singapore. Yeah. yeah. So this is it's a big change. Things have grown from leaps and bounds, really. Yeah. And this latest milestone, the quarter mile drag race, which is happening in just a few more minutes, um, tell us about the significance of this race. Okay. Um, as mentioned to you earlier, this is actually the first time that we've ever conducted a quarter mile race in Singapore. Um, the world's been doing it. Uh, the big guys in the States, the Japanese, um, if you're looking at the Indonesians and even Thailand, they are actually have been, or they have been doing it for a while now. But um, I think we're making history. This is the very first in Singapore. Um, we've been having drag races in Singapore, but they've all been very short distances. Um, in Kalang itself, um, 200 meters worth. Uh, we did an auto trail in uh, one of the National Day events um, at Marina South that was about approximately 300 meters only. So this is the real thing. This is the works. Yeah. Well, you know, since the F1, it seems that people are still in this uh, motorsports fever. Do you think that a lot more kids you know, are going to get started in this career? Well, um, I'm sure these guys are coming in slowly every day. And as it is um, in this event itself, within the hall, exhibition hall, um, there's this thing called the Fun Pre uh, for kids. Um, it's actually getting all the little ones to come in, have some fun, get them started early. You know how it works, basically. From as early as five years old. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe hopefully younger. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so where do you wish to see Singapore motor racing in the, in the near future? Well, um, we all had dreams. Um, I guess this is one of MPT's dreams to ever be able to have a quarter mile race in Singapore. Um, we hope to make this an annual event. 
um, with a bang, of course, um, at the end of the year. But uh, prior to that, we're hoping to do uh, these seasonal races, maybe four or five rounds uh, through the year, and we have one big bang at the end of the year, like, like what we're having now, basically. You were great, Nick, and thanks a lot. Um, I think you have to rush off now, right? Yes, I hear them calling me on the walkie talkie. Okay, we'll Thank see you. So you. Much. Thank and you we'll so catch much. the drag race in a bit. Sure. Bye. Okay, so, yes. That was it's quite interesting. It's actually not a very cheap sport to pick up. Like, you have yeah. to have uh, a lot of money to go into this line or to have it as a hobby even because that's how <laughs> most of them started out, you know, as a For hobby. For me, I need to get a license first. <laughs> a driving license. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you have to have a license as well. But the, that go karting, I don't think you have to, but for the yeah, race cars, you don't yeah. have to. But what about, um, did they tell you about how much it t- you know, one of those cars? Um, no, they didn't tell me. I, I think it's just not for sale, mm. and they will not reveal the figures unless you're really. But the scene here is definitely growing. I think this year alone, we have quite a few of these drift driving. Yeah, well, okay, the sad thing though is that we don't actually have a proper circuit to yeah. conduct like mm. major events or anything just yet. I mean, yep. apart from the F1, which was built specifically yep. for the F1, yes? And before that, I think they do a bit of that. Of this at um, the Kalang Stadium car park. Right, okay. And it's quite narrow, right? Because it's just a normal car park. Yeah. And, and if you really want to go into it, most of them actually have to travel all the way to Sempang mm. in KL, you know, to really practice over there. Yep. So if you think about it, it's really a lot of money involved mm. in maintaining the vehicle, the uh, equipment, the, the team. Each each driver has to have like a team. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of you like know? F1, right? Yeah. Where they come up, boom. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Okay, that was we're, recipe sound to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to go for a timeout and we'll be right back. Uh, stay tuned because after the break, we show you how I talked to Mr. Tanaguchi, who's one of the best drift racers in the Japan. World. And pretty much in the world because you the, know, world, the right? Japanese are the, best, the best, best at drifting. So, yes. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> 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 